Yo, what is up everyone? I've been scouring eBay for the last couple of days to try and find some cool pokey thrifts or some cool boosters to get, but I've come up pretty dry really, so today um, I thought I'd just do something a bit more vanilla. I spotted these tins in Tesco for 10 quid actually, which is pretty much a bargain. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I might add something to the giveaway as well, so whatever I pull you might get, who knows. This is the gig giveaway so far, so those of you who don't know. Uh, this is for 100 subs, by the way. All you need to do is subscribe to enter. Ancient Mew, Hello Kangas Can, and the exclusive UK 20th anniversary Pikachu. So, let's do it. Right, so there we go. It's looking good. This is actually my favourite tin from this set. And, um... I do love that they've decided to do shiny Pokemon, um, which is awesome. I absolutely love shiny Pokemon, and I love the cards where there's shiny Pokemon in them. I think these are pretty boring for shiny Pokemon, actually, but it's a good step in the right direction anyway, so let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. I've never actually opened a tin before. Nice, right. That card is a beauty. Let's have a look at that. Wow. I love that, that's great. That's definitely my favourite out of that series of legendaries. It's the one I picked on the Pokemon game anyway. So, I don't know what boosters I get in this either. I know there's not normally quite a random mix. Got the code card there. I believe these unlock a deck online, so they're worth about a quid each. I'll probably just sell that. I've got tons of codes just lying around in my room. So, we've got one Fates Collide, two Fates Collide, Breakthrough and Roaring Skies. Pretty good value for a ten of this tin. I advise you go down and get one. Let's see what kind of pulls we get then. So, what should we start off with? Fates Collide, seeing as we've got an extra one. <coughs> Let's get that tin out of the way. As nice as it looks. And this. Right. So. Here we go. Let's get into it. What a crappy start. Here we go. Have this code for free. You're welcome. Right, so three from the back. Right, so, Scorched Earth. I've barely got any of this set yet. I bought three booster packs straight away, just loose ones, and got absolutely nothing. Bought another two, got absolutely nothing, so I was like, well, I thought I was going to wash my hands with this set now, because it's obviously not going to be my lucky set. Snivy. Diglett. Seal. Fennekin. Ooh, reverse Snorlax, that's pretty cool. That's a rare, so that's a good find. And what have we got here? Damn, that is... Oh, oh man, I love Genesect. Genesect is such a baller Pokemon. That was awesome. I'll take it back. This was definitely my favourite legendary from this set. I love the ones that are pretty much almost unobtainable. Hopefully we'll get a cool story from him in a bit. Please pardon my knowledge if he's already got like some kind of... Backstory already, but I mean kind of within the games. Man, that is awesome. Right, good fucking start. <laughs> I'll be keeping that, definitely. That is such a baller card. Another condition light. Pretty minty. Pretty minty, right. That is spot on. <laughs> Spit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'll just move that. Right, uh, what do we fancy next? Let's just continue with Fates Collide. Del Fox Art, pretty rad. Oh, don't fuck this up, man. There we go. I 
have another code for free. Please only take one, though. Don't be that dickhead who goes around and takes them all. Wouldn't it be better if everyone just got a chance to get one? They're not worth anything, so just don't be a knob, all right? <laughs> one, two, three. Every time I share them on the Facebook group for freebies, they always all go to the same person, even though I say just take one. Right. Here we go. Mega Catcher, that's pretty cool artwork. I like that. Pretty colourful. Break, uh, breaks them. That's how you pronounce it. Pardon my pronunci pronunciation on these newer cards, by the way. I'm not as familiar. Trainer N. That's a really popular one competitively. Another Fennekin. Car Bink with that safeguard ability. Dealing. Minchina. Is that right? Bronze or... Ooh, wow, that's pretty awesome as well. Going all right so far, eh? Chaos Tower. Some of these newer cars are so trippy. Considering I used to collect back in the day, these are just complete polar opposite. Right, here we go. Oh, Lugia, to be honest, as regular airs go, that is one of the ones I'd rather get. That is pretty rad. Look at that art. Awesome. Right, okay. Still going strong, in my opinion. Let's see what else we can get. I'm going to do Roaring Skies. I have a love-hate relationship with the Roaring Skies. I started collecting it because I love the um, a lot of the artwork on there, a lot of cool EXs. I got really frustrated with it trying to do the set. Like, I used to buy quite a lot of boosters of these and get next to nothing. I heard online that it's one of the hardest sets to pull ultra rares from. I don't know if that's just bullshit. It does seem a bit weird. But it really got me angry and ended up selling them, most of them. Here we go. Another card. Take one, you twats. Oh, no, I haven't done the card trick. One, two, three. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can continue my shitty luck street with Roaring Skies. Pelipper. Wally. Dust Tox. Pikachu. Pido, obviously, I'm sick of the sight of all these commons and uncommons. Taylor. Um, Wormpool, what's our reverse then? Natu, already had about three of these. This is how annoyed I am with the set. Let's see what we get. And another shitty regular rare. I've also had about five of these. Fuck that. See you later. Right. <clears throat> Last is Breakthrough. This one feels a little bit heavy. Let's see if I'm just imagining things. Another code. I'm so fucking generous. Take one. Reiterating, drumming it into your brains. One, two, three from the back. Bang, bang, bang. Also, don't really know anything about this set either. Only ever opened one booster of it. This art is rad. Love it. Probably just keep that just because it's cool. Fire energy, burning energy. What do these even do? Sorry, I'm such an old school collector. Can only be attached to fire Pokemon. The card provides fire energy only while the card is attached to a fire Pokemon. What? What's the point? Right. Floet. I like cards that have coming out in the background as well. That's cool. Hippopotas. Or a red vapey vape nation kind of dude. Cinderquill. Just chilling. Goldeen, sorry, focus, thank you. Starly, in some kind of nuts other dimension. <clears throat> Chespin, oh, that's pretty cool this actually. So I reverse, some terrifying looking bird, rufflet. And what have we got? A uh, hollow, Meloetta. I don't really like these as a Pokemon. What's the other one? I can't fucking remember. That's alright. I mean, 
seems pretty standard with these terms. I've seen a lot of people get um, just um, one EX in the whole tin. It seems to be kind of the done thing. Still overall pretty good value. So we've got the Lugia and the Fates Collide, Hollow Meloetta and the star of the show, Genesect EX, which I think is awesome. So I'm pretty happy overall. And obviously we've got that Oh shit, <laughs> just knocking the camera around. We've got that beautiful Xerneas promo as well, which is worth a nice little bit on its own because it's such a nice card. So, I mean, thank you for watching everyone. I'm going to add this hollow Meloetta to the giveaway. I know it's not much, but um, if I go on adding like amazing stuff every episode, the giveaway is going to get like way too good I'm going to be giving away so much money in effect really so I'm going to add more good stuff later but stay tuned I think it's still looking awesome so far nice right everyone thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure um, I'll be back as soon as I can with some more uh, pokey thrift slash whatever um, so yeah keep stay tuned subscribe and peace out